guys, so I've had a lot of people request a studio tour slash gear tour so that you can see what I'm using and the space that I'm using it in. And I'm kind of hesitant to do that because my space is really small. Like, it's maybe seven feet by eight feet. Um, it's like a walk-in closet, <laughs> which is fine. It's cozy. Um, but it doesn't let me have a whole lot of gear and I had to sell a lot of gear off so that it doesn't just take up too much space, which is kind of a bummer. But um, there's a little painting I'm working on. <laughs> My floors are very squeaky because my apartment is very old. Um, here are some treasures. <laughs> I like weenie dogs. So this is usually my art desk um, where I do a lot of drawing and painting and whatnot. And the thing about this is I usually have to trade off hoarding gear on here and paintings. So I just have to keep moving things to the downstairs. Paintings, synth stuff. Paintings, synth stuff. So uh, right here I have this little heart mixer and I use it for my Korg Volcas, and I have the Volca FM, Volca Drum, and Volca Modular, and I love them. I think they're great, especially for the price. Um, and then right here, I have my little Roland VT4. I use this as the vocoder. Um, you may have seen it in a couple of my past videos um, when I was doing like my February album month, so if you want to check that out, this gets a lot of use. <laughs> and then I'm not picking this up because it's too heavy, but that is my Akai Force, and I love it. I think it's great. It's a bit big. Um, this is a little picture that I drew of a wiener dog fighting a space donut. Here is like my usual setup. Um, I moved my chair out of the way because it takes up the whole room. I have my absolutely monstrous stack of <laughs> hard drives that I am ashamed of, but um, these are all like 500 to a terabyte because if I put everything on one big hard drive, like it will crash. Like, boots, stop whining. Stop whining. <laughs> So yeah, I keep all these little ones because last time I put all my boots <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, let me get him. The stack of hard drives is because I once had a very large hard drive where I kept a lot of my stuff and it crashed and I lost everything. So now I keep multiple copies and backups. So that's my stack of hard drives. Um, right here I have my little Arturia key step. And this is a great, like, super inexpensive MIDI controller. Would recommend. Um, it's easy to travel with, and it's small, it takes up very little desk space. <laughs> I have fake plants, one real plant, and this is my current favorite toy. This is the Polyan Tracker. I will be making probably lots of videos with this, honestly. Um, I'm not going to get into that too much now, though, because you'll see it in videos. And then over here, I have a Positive Grid Spark. I'm going to be making a video on that as well. Um, so this is my little... Um, Toshiba TV VCR combo, some Star Wars, and a little turtle light for some ambiance. Hey, look at that! Here I have a Line 6 HX stomp, and I love it because it is super portable and it fits in my extremely tiny studio. Then I have a Behringer DeepMind. This thing is just, again, for the price, it sounds great. I have four of my favorite pedals here. We have the Maris Hedra. We have the Empress FX Zoya. This thing is like... This is a whole, this is a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> um, we have the Maris Enzo, and then I have the Dark Glass Hyperluminal Compressor. Yes. Um, I have various other gear hidden down here, but I won't get into it now. This is my little chill spot. Here's another wiener dog. This is a rooster tapestry I sewed. <laughs> this is another reason I didn't want to do this. Everyone's gonna be like, I didn't know you were this weird. Ooh, just stop. <laughs> Come here. Then I have my signature Strandberg Bowden, very nice. And then I have this little square telly that I painted. It's got another wiener dog. <laughs> this is my horrible cable management door. Because <laughs> again, I'm getting creative with space. Um, this is a drum pad that I painted, kind of. I didn't finish it, so, but I love this one because it's got the, it's got the beads in it. The beads sound real good. That's most of the uh, the main stuff that I use. I really love this book, the illustrator's figure reference. Praying. An antique McDonald's cup. Let's get a good shot of my tacky wallpaper shop. I saw this fabric <laughs> at the antique store and I was like, I want my whole house to be covered in it, but this was all that was there, so I taped it to my wall and that didn't work. <laughs> so I bought some thumbtacks. 